Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lexi and today is a video that I'm very, very excited for because I have never done one on my channel and I've always wanted to, but I have a hard time going through products and I also have a hard time holding on to things once I go through it. I forget about it, I put it in the garbage and I keep on moving. But I've been saving empties for today's video for a while now with the anticipation of having enough stuff to actually make a video and comment on it and talk about it and all of that jazz. So we're just gonna literally hop right in. No need for long talking. If you are new here, join the Candy Kings family by subscribing, clicking that bell and giving the video a thumbs up. It really helps me for many different reasons. Okay. I actually have a bag right here full of things that are literally empty. Let's just go ahead and get hair out of the way first because I have the least amount of hair products. As you guys know, I'm trying new stuff all of the time, so it's kind of hard, if not almost impossible, for me to run through an entire bottle of product, especially since I'm trying out new stuff all the time. And yeah, and it's just hard. So I rarely have empties um, of hair products. I tend to also give things away before I even get close to emptying them because I have so much other stuff coming in. But the first thing that is literally empty, I probably have one more use out of it, but I wanted to put it in today's video because I'm not gonna make one for a while. And this is the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Yogurt Hydrate and Repair Multi Action Leave In with Mephora and Boabab Oils. This is what it looks like. This is a product that I highly, highly recommend. I think this is one of the best, if not like top two spray leave-ins I've ever tried. It's very moisturizing. It's very softening. It actually does detangle. It's a nice like mixture between a water water spray and like a thick cream. It's like right in the middle between those two things. I did a review on this a while back and I wasn't really impressed with it, but I honestly wasn't paying attention to it. So then my sister used it. She told me that it was amazing. She's also natural and I was like, it's amazing? I, is it? Let me try it again. I tried a few more times after her recommendation and I was like, yo, this actually is pretty freaking bomb. So this is an empty that I'm actually going to use probably like one more time and it'll really be empty. It's literally all the way down here. Um, it's just bomb, you guys. So I would definitely recommend this product um, if anyone is interested or looking for a spray leave-in. I'm really happy to have an empty to show you guys <laughs> from hair. And I have one more empty um, for hair because like I said before, I don't be having empty hair products. And this is the Honey's Handmade Not Going Bananas Condition, Detangle, and Style um, Leave-In Situation. So this is like, this is like OG packaging. This is literally like OG packaging. There's literally also, it's right here. So we're at one more use <laughs> of this as well. But I wanted to bring it on here because it's basically empty and I'm proud of myself. And I actually have two more of these in the new packaging and I've been using those. I forgot about this bottle in the back of my stash. I'm gonna finish this up as soon as possible because I have other ones that I already opened. But this is the epitome of a thickety, thickety, thickums leave-in conditioner. You can also style with this if your hair is finer um, and thinner than mine but I like to use it as a leave-in. So you can definitely use that as a nice, thick, creamy leave-in. It has great slip, really moisturizing, and I absolutely love it. If things get down to being empty around me when it comes to hair, you know I love it, <laughs> okay? Because I just, you know I love it. The Melon Hair Care Twisting Butter, I'm more than halfway done with that jar. I have like one third, if not one fourth, left of product and I should tell you guys like when I'm not doing a product review I'm using that product like I've been using it up so that should tell you like and that one's like 16 ounces so moving along so now we're getting into skincare and makeup so this is the acne.org moisturizer it is actually empty if I pump it nothing is gonna come out it's it's actually empty um, 
I use, I've used this product for a good two years or more. I don't use it right now, not for any particular reason. I've been using the CeraVe moisturizer only because I can pick it up in person at CVS, Walgreens, whatever. No shipping, no delays. And it kind of, for me, works very similar. The only thing is I feel like the CeraVe moisturizer melts into my skin a little bit better than this one. This one takes lots of working it into the skin, but I've used this for years. So I'm just now kind of like getting off of the this moisturizer as of late. I feel like past like three to five months I've been off this moisturizer, but and I kind of like try other things as well, but this is a good moisturizer if you struggle with oily skin, acne prone skin. This is a really good moisturizer. It's definitely going to give you that non-greasy, non-over moisturized, non-pore clogging <laughs> situation when it comes to um, facial moisturizers. All right, I'm so happy. I don't understand, okay? I haven't done an empties video ever, and it was requested. I'm like, yo, I really want to do one, but I don't have any empties, but now I do. <laughs> I'm too much. So there's two more skincare items, and then the rest is going to be makeup items. So this is the Neutrogena Hydra Boost Water Gel. This is what it looks like, okay? So... A few months ago, I was having a crazy reaction. I had like, I don't know if it was dermatitis or allergic reaction or a mixture of both. I don't know what caused it, but I had lots of clogged pores all over my jawline and like cheek areas. And it was overwhelming to say the least. And I had a phone call with a dermatologist. One of the tips that I was told was to use a water jelly type of moisturizer as opposed to the creamy based ones because it could help with just not adding any excess pore clogging not adding any excess stress to the skin it's very 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 light and basic so i don't purchase from this brand often or ever because i like to buy from brands that don't test on animals my personal preference but this was very affordable and at that point, I had spent so much money on skincare trying to rectify whatever was happening on my skin. I was so over. I'm like, you know what? Whatever I need to get that's affordable <laughs> that will help me with my problems, I'm going to get it. So I picked this up at Target and I literally, is completely empty. It is completely empty. Okay? And it's because it's bomb. Okay? <laughs> So if you have oily skin, but I would not use this now that my skin is basically back to normal. I feel like it's not moisturizing enough, but for what I used it for, it was actually quite awesome because it was very light on the skin, non-oily, non-clogging in my pores, and it helped my skin kind of heal itself up and give me some moisture, but not a crazy amount of moisture. But again, um... If you like need a daily moisturizer that like I wouldn't use this because I feel like it's very, very light and it's too light even for someone like me that has oily skin. But at the time that I was in dire need, it got the job done. I actually really like the smell of this and I like the texture of it and I did like it. You can actually layer this with a serum or an oil or whatever you like if you are into layering your skincare products. But I won't buy that again simply because of the animal testing. Um but it's obviously personal preference. And then my last like skincare item is this EOS chapstick. It sounds funny. This is what it looks like. I'm sure every one of you guys have seen one of these EOS balls. Listen, if an apocalypse happens, if zombies take over, if the coronavirus <laughs> gets worse, I hope it doesn't. But if anything was to happen where I cannot get my chapstick, I'm gonna be out of I'm gonna be out of commission because I need like I have an addiction. So I go through one of this is completely empty, like it's nothing in here. Okay, it's completely empty. Okay, it's flat, no more ball. You see that? I probably go through one of these every single month, maybe six weeks, because they do last a while because it is like a full ball. I go through them. Okay. <laughs> and the peppermint is my absolute favorite. I also have like 
when I try like popular chapstick brands that aren't this one, I tend to get like reactions, like just allergic reactions on my lips. Not anything crazy, but just like super dry and it's a little bit like of a rash very very you can't see but I can feel it type of rash on my lips so I just stick to this I don't change even the freaking flavor I use does not change I just use the same chapstick at all times I have this one which is also EOS and this one is peppermint as well but this one feels a little bit lighter than this one so I'm like, look, like, no, I just need to always use this one and leave it at that point blank period and don't even try anything new. So now it's time for makeup. I'm actually really hype about makeup because, again, it's I try so much stuff that it's hard for me to run through an entire product of any kind. But hair, obviously, is the hardest Then makeup then skincare <laughs> question before i get into this makeup though did you subscribe to the channel i'm just curious because i mean you're still here i'm not sure why you wouldn't all right cool just just checking just check it so first things first is going to be some fenty products if you're not new here if you follow me on ig you know that i like fenty beauty i actually love a lot of if not all of the complexion products. They have amazing, amazing <laughs> complexion products. Starting off with just a base, I have the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. That's what it looks like. This is the small one and it's empty, okay? Um, I would not buy this again. This is like, almost feels like nothing is happening. It almost feels like a light lotion. And I haven't noticed if I use it or don't use it, if it's any difference. So if I don't see a difference, I'm not gonna buy it again. So this right here, I'm like, man, I used it up because I had it and I'm not gonna buy it again, moving along. <laughs> Next, I have the Fenty Beauty um, Pro Filter which one is this called? It's the first one, the Pro Filter Soft Matte Long Wear Foundation. And I wear the color 430. This, when I tried it out, when, I, when it first came out, was a favorite because the color match was phenomenal and it looked like skin. It really, really looked like skin. And I was in love. I used it up, it's literally also empty um, and it's dirty, and it's, like I used it up. It's, there's, I think the line is like right here. I tried to put it on the other day and nothing was coming out. I'm like, okay, perfect, in the empty bag you go. So the thing about that is, I tried the hydrating version because Jackie Ina said that it was better. I said, okay, I have oily skin, but why not? I freaking love the hydrating version of the Fenty foundation and to the point where when I put that one the matte one on on a different day it won't give me that same skin like flawless dewy like it won't give me that same look mind you I have oily skin with the right amount of powder and primers and prepping the skin it looks so good you guys so I'm like mmm I'll probably try to run through the hydrating one first and when I finish the hydrating one I have to see how I feel about which Fenty one to repurchase because honestly those two like the hydrating and the matte they're both amazing for me. So next thing that is empty is this Beauty Bakery flower setting powder. When I tell you guys that this <laughs> is my favorite setting powder of all time. This is my favorite setting powder of all time. I've tried the Fenty one. I've tried Crayon Case. More than a couple of under eye brightening and setting powders for my concealers. And this is the best. <laughs> so what I'll do is I'll save this for like the occasion where I wanna look beat 
Okay, like right now I have it on, I look beat. I already know, thank you very much. Zero flashback ever. I've never flashback, I don't flashback. Flashback, what is that? Like this, whew. Yes, I'll repurchase. And yes, I already have repurchased. You following me? Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. <laughs> Next we have some concealer. And this is from ColourPop. So this is the ColourPop concealer in the color Deep Golden 60. They changed the names of the concealer colors. So I'm not sure what it's called anymore, but it is a good concealer. It's a really good concealer. It's very creamy. It has nice coverage. It lasts. It's like a mattifying concealer. Um, I've used it up. <laughs> let, me, let me come closer. As you can see, it looks pretty janky. It's also empty. And pretty much, it's dried out. Like, I, it's dried out. I'm not going to wear this anymore because it's, it's old, it's used, it's empty. It's like $6. It's bomb. For the price point, what it does, the color options, definitely worth the price. Will I buy it again? Probably not because I've purchased some other things I like a little bit more than this. And I never really grabbed for it anymore. But if you are on a budget... This is a really, really, really good product to, to have in your makeup arsenal. Next, next, next is this Slay All Day Setting Spray from Gerard Cosmetics. Give you guys a little close-up. First of all, they had a buy one, get one free sale a while ago. This is the second one that I used up. So we are completely out of Gerard Cosmetics setting spray in this household. I really like that setting spray. I really do. Although I've tried other things since then, so I probably won't buy that again because it's kind of like up there in price and I've tried the Morphe one is pretty good. I feel like the setting sprays don't really do too, too, too much for me in terms of keeping the makeup on your face. So I kind of use them more so to just help it look less powdery and less ashy. So, and that was good for that. But I use the Morphe one now. I have the Beauty Bakery one now. They're all pretty similar. Maybe I just don't get the allure of them in terms of long lasting wear, but I do get that they make your face look more like skin. And that's my forte. I love it. Okay, I love my makeup to look like skin. So it's pretty good for that. It's a little bit up there in price. So I'll probably leave that where it's at and just use what I already have and buy the Morphe one again and again and again because it's really affordable and I don't really need to be purchasing expensive setting sprays. Just my personal opinion. I did use the Scandinavia one a while back that also ran out before I moved. And that one was really bomb though, like really bomb. Like damn, kind of missed that one. All right, and I only have one more product that is empty for today's video and that is the Fenty Beauty Concealer, the Pro Filter Concealer um, in the color 410. So I am as surprised as you are <laughs> that I was able to run through this so much but I really like this product. If you look closely, you might be able to tell that it's like clear, it's like running out some spots. But when I use this nowadays, I have to like keep going in, keep going in, keep going in because it's pretty much empty. I could still probably get like five more times to use this maybe, give or take, because I can just, you know, keep scooping, keep keeping whatever. But the point is, how do I feel about it now that I've ran through it so much and used it so much? So it's one of those things that before I tried what I use now, it was a favorite. <laughs> That's how I feel about it. But now I've tried the Too Faced Born This Way concealer and that concealer has literally wiped away any other competition. So that concealer has more than become a favorite and I probably <laughs> will only use that one forever. <laughs> I'm just joking. But I bought the e.l.f. one, the new e.l.f. one. I actually have the new e.l.f. one on right now. And I'm actually feeling it. So for an affordable option, the e.l.f. one might be the new play. But 
about this Fenty Beauty one, I'm going to put it on back burner for now. I'm going to use what I have for now. And I can honestly say that I probably won't be buying it again because I love that Too Faced one so much. Too Faced one is a little bit more money than the Fenty Beauty one, but the Too Faced one has more in the bottle. So it's like, you know... It's just like one of those things, you know? So that's the end of the video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down below how you feel, what you're thinking about, and let me know down below if you liked this type of video. And if you made it this far to the end of the video with me and you aren't a part of the Candy Kings family, I'm not quite sure what the what the problem is. Where is the disconnect? Join the family, give the video a thumbs up. Let me know down below what you think, and I will see you guys in the next one.